I wanted to do a quick video just walking you through how to navigate the new digital curriculum. Um, it's not very much different than, than what we've done before because we've already been using Khan Academy and um, AP Classroom quite a bit. We're just going to rely a little more heavily on those. So here's our Canvas homepage from the student view. Um, my office hours are now just going to be by appointment through Zoom. If a few of you want to get on and have similar questions, I'm happy to go over stuff. Uh, Zoom has a screen share option, and I have a whiteboarding app that I can uh, that I can use. So here I can show you how the whiteboarding app works. Actually, here's Jillian's currently col coloring a unicorn on it. Um, okay. Make sure you read through the digital curriculum, what the plan is. I know I already made an announcement about it and what the key points are. Um, AP exam, I'll be updating this section periodically. They plan to release the new test dates on April 3rd. Uh, one thing they are providing though is some free review and they're live streaming that. So if you click on this link and go to AP online courses, watch on YouTube, you can just find the stats one. view full playlist. So it looks like right now they're going over topics that aren't going to be on the exam. So we're not going to worry about that stuff. Um, if you take a, a stats class in college, you'll still go over them. But they will be eventually posting review materials and stuff like that. But all, all this all this section that they have posted is from stuff that's at the end of the year that won't be on the exam anymore. And they've already made that announcement. But I'll keep you updated. Wait, 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 Dad. Um, all right, so back to our homepage. You're going to find everything from uh, that you'll need in the current unit, and that's inference for means. And this is going to be the last unit of the year, which is a good thing. Um, first, I'm going to be posting videos here periodically. Uh, so I just posted one. Um, so... That one's just introducing you to the T distribution, um, which you'll need for this this unit. So I'll, I would start there. It's about a 20 minute video. You can take notes and a comp book on it. I highly recommend doing that just because uh, it's been shown that writing things down rather than just watching it makes you retain at like a rate of 75% more uh, over if you just watch it and try to absorb the material that way. Um, so here's our week one schedule. I have a Khan Academy assignment and a Khan Academy quiz. And uh, and then at the end, you're going to want to do the Unit 7 Progress Check Multiple Choice Part A. Um, so if you click on these, it'll take you to the actual individual assignments. And these are just the problem sets. Once you click those and log into Khan Academy, you'll get an alert about what I assigned in your notifications. And so I did assign problem sets, which are going to be scored for completion, but also um, videos, which you should be watching as well. That's the only way you're going to get the instruction uh, and articles, and you should read those articles. Um, so you have kind of a unique opportunity. You're taking a, only a 45 minute free response exam. So we just want to make sure you have the opportunity to get this last unit in and then, and then review uh, to pass that exam. All right. I just wanted a reminder that the Khan Academy problem sets, these, are only going to be scored for completion, and they'll go into the assignments portion of your grades. The Khan Academy quiz will also go into the assignments portion of your grade, but I am going to, I'm going to grade that for accuracy. It's only five points, but uh, you can retake it as many times as you need. So you can, you can take it until you get 100%. The AP Classroom stuff is now going to go into the quiz projects uh, test portion of your grade, and that will be scored for accuracy. So, you know, you'll have your resources, you have your book, you have your notes, um, but that is going to be your assessment grade. Uh, and that's it. Um, I make use of the course calendar. Um, you'll note that everything is going to be due on... Sunday at midnight. So I'm going to do this in weekly chunks. It's all due Sunday by midnight. 
Um, I may post the, the following week before this is due, so you can move ahead if you like, but it'll always be due on Sunday at midnight. Please email me to set up a Zoom meeting if you are confused or have any questions or if you just want me to go over a problem and record a, uh, a video for it, I'm happy to do it. All right, folks, stay safe and healthy. Talk to you soon.